Good morning, this is uh, James Hunter, and I'm making a, a video this morning about, uh, you know, thresholds. What is a threshold for being able to make changes, uh, knowing what we need to do as far as making decisions with uh, where we're at in life. And I wanna talk about this uh, situation that, you know, I get people ask me a lot, you know, do I have any, do I have any books, right? Can I recommend reading a book? And books are great. I mean, I, I read uh, books myself and I actually do, uh, from time to time recommend a good book to read for somebody nothing wrong with that right so uh sometimes i'll get people ask me uh hey do you know of any sub somebody on youtube that you could tell me to go listen to them and watch them right maybe like a, a guru or something right um so some people like to hear motivational speeches or they want to hear uh you know ideas about different uh, subjects and so on as far as uh things about to either provoke you to think, motivate you to think, or maybe uh, help to, uh, yeah, inspire you perhaps, right? And I can appreciate that. So so here's the deal. I, I think in my opinion, everything has a, a threshold of diminishing return potentially. And so what do I mean by that? So for example, uh, I've known some individuals, people that will, you know, they'll always have a pile of books at home on their table and they're, they're reading books and that's fantastic. You know, reading can, uh, be good stimulation for the mind and to continue to learn but the point I want to make is people who are always looking for the next book to read and the next book to read and the next one and the next one either searching for maybe something different that they haven't heard before you know a lot of the books essentially have a way of saying the same things they just do it in their own way which is which is fine right an author of a book essentially will have concepts that are not necessarily anything new, but they, they have their own style in which they're able to speak about it that people can relate to and appreciate, right? So the point is, at a certain point with people, whether you're looking for the next person to listen to on YouTube, uh, some expert or, or person who uh, people pay money to go listen to, for example, uh, not mention any names, uh, but how much change are you making in your life? And that's what I want to get at, right? What is the point, right? Reading books. Let's so say, for example, people are, some people might always be in buying books on nutrition. Well, I'm going to buy a book about this diet, the paleo diet, keto diet, uh, Mediterranean diet, pick one and pick one, right? But at the same time, there is no real sustainable change, right? Maybe at a certain point, you know that which you need, right? Kind of like when Luke Skywalker tells... Uh, Yoda, he came back to complete his training, and Yoda says, know that that you need, right? You already know that what you need. And so anyway, Star Wars reference. So at a certain point, how much more do you need before you can start utilizing what you already know? For example, if you've read 20 books on nutrition, but you still haven't even pulled the trigger on cutting out processed added sugars, food products like that, right? or getting a plan to be able to uh, taper that down or get it under control? Or what about having boundaries with your relationship with food, people, places, and things, right? So a lot of times we have the cart before the horse or reading these books, knowledge, right? Knowledge is not power, it's the application of knowledge that's powerful. So behavior activation, pulling the trigger and making changes, that's, that's what it boils down to. So what about books on um, whether it's a book about relationships, healthy boundaries, um, The Four Agreements, right? That's a great book. So people know what those are who've read the book. But how much of this are we actually putting into practice? How many books do you need to read? How many people do you need to listen to before you realize perhaps you already know that which you need to know? So it's not so much about the next book or listening to the next video on YouTube. This is more about insight, into, into what you know and then making decisions about that, right? Practicing different behaviors. And yes, it takes discipline. It feels like an effort to practice a new behavior, but that's what it boils down to. And I'll be honest, um, I probably haven't read as many books as maybe a lot of people I know, but I do read books, right? But a lot of my change in my life was not because of a book. It was because of my values, what I value, right? So maybe we need to look at ourselves and what we value in terms of the insight to change and do something with your life. Because most people, in my opinion, know that which they know, which they need, right? 
to use the, the Yoda quote. Most people know that, the information, what the, for what they need to make some real changes. It's kind of like people who describe a problem and they're very specific about the things they're unhappy with and they'll even give examples of what they probably should do and in the, in the same breath they'll say, yeah, but I don't know. Which is a bit ridiculous because obviously they do know if you, li if you listen to them, right? So this is not really an issue of knowledge. Needing to read the next book. Needing to ask the next person what they think or their opinion is. Because sometimes people might be fishing for reasons to feel more comfortable versus maybe staying uncomfortable with something that, that it is a good idea to be uncomfortable and make some changes, right? So anyways, there's a lot more that can be said about this. Just my two cents on this topic for today. And so, yeah, reading books is great. I'm reading a couple myself to uh, enrich myself, add value. But more importantly, it's my relationship with reading books and looking for places for information is what matters. Because my motivation to really change isn't so much because the book gives me another angle. It's because the, the motivation to change is already there. The book perhaps is a tool. Or speaking to somebody can be used as a tool, if you will, to help focus you and so on. Because if you don't know your values, and more importantly, you're not ready to make changes based on what you say you value, then it doesn't matter if you read 100 books or listen to 100 videos of said speaker who's popular on YouTube. So anyways, until I make another video again, I hope everybody has a good rest of the week. I just got back from the gym, right? Got to practice that self-care. I made a post, uh, I think it was yesterday, that yeah, if you're trying to work on your mental health but you're neglecting your physical health, that's a whole other issue that I kind of speak to time to time. Have a good day and take care. Thank you.